Hello and welcome back to Hydrocell Info. In this video, I will show you how to fix battery drain on Huawei Mate Pad 12X. Let's begin. So, the very first thing you want to do is to simply go into the settings and then you want to enter your battery settings. And here you have this beautiful power saving mode. You will notice that with power saving mode being enabled, we have 19 hours and 30 minutes remaining with 89% of battery. However, if we disable this, you will notice that now we only have 69, nice, which is something very wrong with this because um, there is a difference in almost 20 hours. So what exactly is going to happen here? Well, we can click that power button to learn more. And now we see that the power saving mode extends and disables most of the power hardware features like auto syncing, haptic feedback, system sounds, visual effects, screen timeout, background activ app activity, and finally the system performance. Now this is actually very, very vague. Uh, usually, for example, the reduced system performance means that your CPU is capped at, for example, 70%. And usually for typical users, this is really nothing. And it's only a problem after you try to play some very big and hefty games. Otherwise, the reducing system performance shouldn't really cost you anything. Same thing goes with background app activity. This only works and this only uh, affects you if you tend to have many different applications running in the background at the same time and only then you will probably find yourself making uh, excuse me or you will see that uh, certain applications aren't working in the background and you need to manually restart them screen timeout is pretty self-explanatory we, we can i believe it's now set to like 50 seconds or 30 seconds let's go to display the brightness oh actually it's not that's pretty interesting but you can go into display and brightness i want to sleep and you probably want to change it to something lower and with that being set to minute this means that after one minute of an activity our screen will automatically lock itself this is very useful because after one minute of an activity our our screen won't be really using any kind of battery and a rule of thumb is that the better the bigger the value here the bigger battery usage now me personally i'm going to stay with 10 minutes but only because i'm the guy recording tutorials and as a normal user i would personally choose two minutes one minute or even 30 seconds but let's leave this and let's go back to battery for now so we go into battery power saving mode learn more and let's continue going from the bottom we then we have the visual effects these, I think, only include certain animations, certain effects, and they won't really change your experience using the tablet. We have disabled system sounds and haptic feedback. Now, while haptic feedback is really self-explanatory because vibrations and haptics and all that are pretty power-hungry, the system sounds, I don't think so. Maybe it's the case of the speakers and the system sounds will, for example, play some sound when you're writing or play some sound when you're using your keyboard and all of that. But at least for me, I don't really think this should really include and matter uh, that much for the power saving mode. And finally, we have disable auto syncing. Once again, this will only affect you if you are a user of different devices that need connections between each other. For example, if you have a Bluetooth device and it's not working properly, maybe this is because it is not auto syncing with it. However, the power saving mode itself isn't really any of everything to fix your battery drain. There is one last thing, actually two last things, that I want to mention that will dramatically help you with your battery drain. First of all, we can go into display and brightness, and right here we have dark mode. We actually want to switch to enable all day or alternatively enable as scheduled. Now I'm going to disable this because it doesn't really look well on the recording, but I will do explain why dark mode is so good. And it actually comes down to one simple thing, and it's the fact that many screens nowadays, including this Huawei Pad screen, are OLED screens, meaning that they need more battery to display brighter pixels and the whiter pixels as well. So, if majority of our pixels are darker, then this means that we have barely no battery usage. 
and it's pretty important to note that on tablets like these, the display and the screen are the systems that are the most power hungry. So by enabling dark mode and changing that ratio to have the majority of your pixels being darker, you just save a ton of battery. And I'm quite surprised that they don't automatically enable the power saving mode here. Maybe it doesn't really work, maybe it's optimized, it's, I don't know, it's who knows. Uh, but from my experience, I know that enabling dark mode does help you save a ton of battery. And the second important system that is very power hungry is your CPU. And uh, the uh, question what exactly uses CPU is actually surprisingly simple. It's they're just your applications. It's every single system that is running in the background of your device. It's every single application that is linked around in the background of the device. And I could go on and on, but basically it all boils down to something working in the background and wasting your resources. And you can actually see exactly which applications do that the most by going into the battery and then scrolling all the way down. Here we have the screen on time today, we have charging, and we have battery usage per app. And it's actually in our current time frame being the 7 p.m. and 8 p.m., which is quite interesting because we actually have no applications other than keyboard charging uh, that used our battery. And this is because we haven't really been using, at least I didn't. However, as a normal user, you will probably see many different things here. For example, oh, now I can see global uh, battery usage and of course the keyboard charging is the most used. Also we have the Huawei Home, the settings, the notepad and all of that. But as a normal user, you will probably see things like YouTube here, or Netflix, or any kind of social media app or streaming application, because they tend to use a lot of your resources, and also games. Games are incredibly power hungry, and if you keep playing them and you have them running in the background, yeah, your CPU is going to get used, and therefore your battery is going to get used as well. But is there anything we can do? Actually, we can. Let's go into our applications, which could be find uh, apps and services. Actually, it's right below, uh, upwards to the battery. We can go into our apps right here. And now we have a list of every single application on our device. Now, because uh, we have the Huawei application, we have the Huawei uh, whole tablet, we can see that there are many different, I don't want to say garbage, but there are basically bloater applications that are just bloating your device and they are pretty useless. So let's say that this stupid looking game called the Baby Panda World is an our social media application. Now we want to go into power usage details and here we can see exactly how many power it has used. Now this specific application actually used almost nothing and this is because it, I wasn't really using it. Uh, using it, but you will see that if you would, then the battery would increase, and therefore we probably would want to remove some permissions. And I'm looking for exactly the battery permissions, but it appears that our Huawei tablet doesn't really allow changing and modifying the battery and working in the background. But there is one universal way to help with power hungry apps and it is to just click that uninstall button, click OK and voila, you're good to go. And you probably want to do it with many different other applications and once again, uh, you probably want to target social media applications and streaming applications. However, I can already hear the questions that, well, I can't just uninstall my Facebook, I won't be on time, I will be living under the rock or something. And yeah, I do agree. But actually, oh well, at least maybe not an app gallery, because app gallery is just special. Um, however, on Google Play Store, you can find many different live versions of applications. I'm not sure if I can uh, search for it right here, but if we try to search for Facebook, at least on the Play Store, it should show. Uh, yep, it is indeed here. We have the Facebook, which is 66.4 megabytes, which is quite a lot actually. And then we have Facebook Lite, which is only 2.8 megabytes. And there are many different applications that have Lite versions to them. 
and I think there are also browsers who do the same thing, like we have the Opera and we also have Opera Mini. And once again, if you think that your Facebook, for example, is stealing all your battery, you can just uninstall it and install Facebook right um, in its place and it will be working as fine as before. You won't be living on the rug and you will still save a ton of battery. And actually that's all for this video. If you have some more tips and tricks about fixing the battery drain for the Huawei MatePad 12X, you can always share them down in the comments below. But anyway, that's all for this video. If you found it useful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.